In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for H3PO4 plus NaOH. This is phosphoric acid, and this is sodium hydroxide. The products we have here, you'll get that if you have a lot of sodium hydroxide. So this reaction, we're saying we have a good bit of sodium hydroxide. When I look at the reaction, I see that I have water here, and then I have a salt, an ionic compound. So if I have a salt and I have water, I'm thinking probably going to be a neutralization reaction. Over here, this is H3PO4. This is phosphoric acid. And I can tell it's probably an acid because there's an H in the front. It's probably a good one to memorize as well. For NaOH, sodium hydroxide, I have a metal bonded to an OH. So a metal with this hydroxide, that's going to be a base. It's helpful if you memorize this table of common acids and bases when you're studying chemistry. It just makes things a lot quicker. Let's look at a table of common types of chemical reactions here. We can see on our table that we do have our neutralization reaction. We have our acid and base gives us salt and water. That's the pattern for neutralization. But this is also considered a double replacement reaction. That's because the hydrogens and the sodiums, they change places. So the hydrogen is now with the OH. That gives us HOH, which is H2O. Then the sodium, the Na, that goes with the PO4, and we get our sodium phosphate. We should probably balance this equation, though, for it to make sense. Looks like we need 3 and then 3. So now the equation's balanced. The type of reaction for H3PO4 plus NaOH, it's double displacement and neutralization. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.